Hey guys, how are you? We're back. And I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before the other one. I made another one before this. I wasn't really happy with it. It is a heart flower. Kind of really heart flower. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that guys. I got a phone call and, and I had to shut you down real quick. So we've got two Skinner blends. And I don't even remember what was in my first part of this video. But this is going to be a heart flower. Now we're going to we're going to make this We are going to make this a fan fold on both of them. It'd be nice if I could make this straight. I don't know why I have such a problem getting it perfect like everybody else probably because I move at a high rate of speed okay so there's one all right and the fact that I'm left-handed I seem to do everything backwards. I did think I mentioned that I had another video. And this one's probably going to go up before the other one. But the other one I had planned on putting up first. So if it sounds weird, hey, there's going to be another video or... Or something you'll understand why I have the time to make two of them today that first one didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to but I'll put it up anyways and this one we're gonna end up cutting and mixing the two I'm going to do four of each color. So there's one. So I haven't decided. I wanted the purple on one side. But by doing it this way, it's going to give me the purple on both sides. Which won't look bad, but... And if I don't like it, I will go back and squish all the reds back with each other and squish the purples back with each other. And we'll just leave it with the red on top and the purple on bottom. So, let's see. Okay, so you just want to get four of these now okay okay so I don't know why I didn't think that that would 
Yeah. I didn't I didn't want the red all the way up on the top. Have to think here. I may take off a little bit of the white or just punch it down a little bit so that the purple is farther than the white, if that makes sense, and that the red is farther than the, the white. Hopefully that made sense. I didn't want the white to come all the way to the top. Okay, so this way I'm kind of blocking that white. And then putting the purple all the way down like that. So that it connects to the other red. And that way, no white is getting to the top. I don't care if it's into the purple. I just don't want it past the purple. If you do it normally, so you'll have the white going all the way up to the red. So when you reduce it, that white's going to go all the way up to the top. So I'm trying to avoid that. Okay, so this one I'm going to cut in half. Okay, and that's going to go right there. And that's going to come off right there. Alrighty. Now we're just going to reduce it. And this is going to take a little bit of time, but I'll show you a few cuts before I hit pause. We got a lot of flying activity outside today. I don't know how many planes I've missed today, but it's a busy day out there. I want to be taking the dogs for a walk soon, so hopefully, hopefully they'll all still be flying and we can catch something pretty cool. If I drove down to the corner where they take off, that would be the best thing. But I don't feel like driving a couple miles to go watch that today. Okay, so these aren't even, and that's okay, because we want it to be kind of scattered here. So we're going to go three inches. All right, one, two, three. Cut it in half. And I'll put it together again. Now, if you like that kind of a shape, you can leave it just like this and turn it into your flower. But we're going to at least do this two or three times. So I'm going to reduce this once more. And if I still don't like it, I'll go once more. I'm not going to worry about 
cutting any ends off here. Just going to cut it right in the center. And decide if I like that. Okay, we're going to go at least one more. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I finish this. And I will be back. Okay, so I did it two more times. But now we're going to leave it. And now we're going to push them together. So, I'm trying to figure out how I want this to finish. And I'll show you why in a second. Let me get this purple up, up on top. Okay, so, th that could be my flower, right? Now, if I want to make this into a heart flower, you could actually, uh, hopefully this doesn't mess it up. I'm just going to do the very edge here. Obviously, you're going to round... You're going to round your sides, okay? And you can leave it like this. Or you can wrap a solid color so that your petals look like they're separate, if that makes sense. You know how we normally pack the sides? But I'm trying to think. All right, let me grab. Let me grab a pen, and I'll kind of show you what's in my mind. Um, I will be right back. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about that yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do six petals, and then if I decide after that to wrap them and make them separate I will but this way I can see what it's gonna look like okay so this is gonna take me a bit of time what you want to do is on the very top or whatever side you're using for the top squish in your sides like that so that you have more of a round a round cane See now that it's a little bit more round. And if we're going to do six petals, what are we going to need? Nine inches or ten and a half? Six, maybe seven and a half? Got to think here. We'll do seven and a half and see where that's at. So you're going to have one and a half and three. So two is obviously three inches. Four is six. Yeah, I need nine inches. No, my brain doesn't work very well anymore. Okay, and obviously you want them all pretty much close to the same size here. Obviously, where the lines come up, you're not going to be able to use that. So, we're going to get rid of that. Okay. Almost there. Okay, so these are going to have to be shaped individually, anyways. Because we're 
going to make this into a heart. So one and a half and three. And then four and a half and six. Seven and a half and nine. Okay. So, like I was saying, oh, this would really look pretty though too. I can leave it. I don't know why I did red and purple, but I really like the way that looks. Okay, I can leave it like this, okay? I can still pack this with translucent. But if this is going to be a heart, I'm going to want to put an indentation here to make the heart. Or, do I have red in front of me? I have purple. So I'm going to run some purple at a number five. Just to kind of give me an idea. If I separate it. Okay. Oh, I hate decisions like this. You know, it's not very often that I make a flower that isn't separate. So maybe I will try that today. So first off, we're going to take one. I'm going to do this one since it's not going to be our flower. But I just want to see... How this is going to work together. Okay, so that will have translucent in there. So it'll basically be like this. So they'll be separate there, but they'll also be separate there. Got a tough decision here. You know, I'm going to do that for the very first time. We are not going to wrap these. Okay, so this might take a little bit of time. So you want to make sure you're in the center, right? And you're going to be in the center on this. Okay, and then you're just going to kind of make an indent right there. And if it doesn't seem even, you can kind of now, give it a little bit of a shape here, so it's not so harsh. But the more I do that, that looks like it's on the center, but this one does not. Okay, so we're just going to do that way. Okay, so that's number one. And I'm going to do that on all six of them. And then I'll head you back in here. Alrighty. So we have our little heart shape. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So we got them to where, you know, they look like a heart. For the most part. But I'm not going to worry about the bottom, so that's why the bottom's still kind of funky. I'll worry about it when I get it all together. So this one, I'm just going to dig a little deeper. And then we will basically design it around the clay. Alright, so we're going to put this in the middle. So all we just need is a log. We want this to fit inside that little crevice 
So it's going to have to be thin. It's too long. Just cut off the ends. So we're going to need five of them. I think we just need to go a little more. I'm so used to putting a solid layer around it. I'm not used to making flowers like this, so I hope it looks as good as what I'm anticipating. What do I need? I need six of these, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I still need to go a little smaller. I'm going to wrap the top in um, translucent, so I want this kind of flush with the top. So I might be able to get two out of this. We'll see. Okay. Hopefully I didn't make it too thin. Nope. All right. And I'm just going to kind of form it around that. And then we're going to come in here and make sure we got a nice petal. Okay, so there's one. I feel like I need to go a little deeper. My dogs are on a field day today. I don't know what's going on outside. It is a really nice day. So it could be just people walking around. Bandit has been non-stop barking all day today. Okay, just want to bring that up and around it. So that's two. Here's number three. Again, I'm going to go a little deeper. Dog hair not included. Okay. Again, just kind of push it up towards the middle. This is my funky one. I don't know what happened to this guy, but... three and we're gonna go two more well oh, nope we need three more okay and I might put this in a flower and then I'll pause you when I reduce. Okay, so let me push that in really well. It's 
four, two more. This one's a little, a little thicker on that end, so. Okay. Just kind of reshape it. And one more. That middle part was a little thin, so I'm going to try it again. The best way to do these is obviously with a flat surface. If you got even pressure on it, you'll get an even... Ah, this one's got an air bubble in it. This might be a little thicker. Okay. So that is number six. So again, you're going to make your edge nice and pointy. Okay. And then I've got this. If I want a center, I don't know if I want a center yet. But I'm going to cut this out just in case I do. But I slept wrong last night. I got a kink in my neck. So I can't move it a certain a certain distance. So if you hear me say ouchie in the background, that's probably why. All right, so I'm going to get rid of right there. Okay, so now we'll see if we want that anyways. We may not. We're just going to take a look and see what this looks like. So. If I leave it alone, then basically it's going to be all of that purple being the center, which really doesn't look that bad. Okay, now if I put this piece in there, and I'm just going to kind of throw it in there to get an idea. Okay, I kind of like that. The only thing, again, that's weird for me is not separating the petals. I always separate the petals. So this is a little different than normal, but we're going to leave it alone because I wanted to do something different. So here we go. Okay, now we're just going to make sure. I'm going to take this off one more time. I just want to make sure that my ends are nice and pointy. And then the hardest part is making sure that these all touch that center. Okay, I'm going to get them up there and then I'll, I'll go back in there. I keep reaching for the top thinking something's stuck on there. And I'm trying to take that translucent off for some reason. Okay, so all of these are touching the center. This one's a little off. Okay. 
Okay, turn it around. And again, make sure you're touching and that your petals are nice and even. There's a lot of them on here that are not. Makita. Hey, Makita. So those are all touching nicely. Yep, this one needs to be turned over a little bit. All right, so there is our flower. Okay, so now we are going to pack in between the top. So that's the only way that these are going to have like a a separate petal they're not going to be combined because of this and I think this because it fits so tightly we're not going to need to make a log um, with a pointed end we're just going to do it this way now some of these might be a little small we'll see Okay, and I'm trying to fill up that hole. Makita, hey, stop. I don't know if her arthritis is acting up, but she's down there licking. It's a sound that drives me absolutely crazy, which is why I told her to stop, even though it's not her fault. She's sitting here because she knows it's time to go for a walk. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay, so that's it all nice and packed. So now you've got these separate. And now we just need to cut a strip that's going to go all the way around this. So I'm going to do that and then show you what it looks like all packed. And then we're going to put you on pause while we let this sit for a few minutes and then I can reduce it. going to use this because it's got a little bit of red on it which I don't think matters but just in case So the colors that I used in this, if I didn't mention it before, are just Primo, Sculpey Primo Purple, Pomegranate Red and White, and yes, I am using Sculpey Primo White Translucent, because it's like the easiest translucent to use. strip out I'm not really worried if it doesn't touch all the bottom because you know that bottom's gonna be wasted anyways
definitely don't want red on your translucent. Okay, so basically that's it, Pat. And then all I'm going to do is do this over and over and over again. Turn it around. And reduce. So I go put my hand about, I don't know, it's because this is such a small cane, I'm halfway in the middle. If it was a longer cane, I'd be like a quarter inch from the top. And you're just going to do this and basically push it out. Okay, and then you're going to come on this side and do the same. And just basically push it out. And then I'll come in here and kind of pull and make those sides a little smaller so that it's even. Roll it a little bit, come back in here and reduce it some more. I was going to actually put you on pause while I did this, but this is a really small cane, so I might as well just go for it. And you want to pull out that center. The reason I don't roll my canes is if you keep rolling it, you're going to suck. See how all of that kind of sucks in? So it's easier for me just to do it this way and then I'll roll it just to get the the size I want. Once it gets long enough you can pretty much just pull it anyways. And it wasn't a huge cane so I'm not going to go much longer than this. I will cut these in two inch in length, usually about a half an inch wide. And hopefully I'll have some of this either on my Creative Dork site, or not Creative Dork, on my Me and the Mutts Etsy or Me and the Mutts website. I think I'm going to end up losing Me and the Mutts website. Um, I just don't have time for marketing and I don't get a whole lot of hits on there and I'm paying like 40 bucks a month for it and when you do Etsy although they are a little bit more expensive they really help you out in the marketing area especially if you offer free shipping um, for orders over 35 I think is what it's it's their minimum but it just seems to help so I'm going to give it a couple of months and see how the other site goes. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up getting rid of it. So I don't cut off the ends because I'll use them for something that I'm doing. So I'll cut a one inch strip just for me. And the same with that, a one inch strip. And then the rest is what I'll sell. I know. I'm not set up for selling. That's why all my all my canes are just so small. Or not so small. There's not that much that I put up there because I don't I literally don't sell that often. So I'm gonna have to make bigger canes if I decide to go for it. So what do we want? One, two, three, I want four inches. So we're gonna go a little smaller on this cane. And we'll see how it looks, right? Oh, dug right into that one. All right, well, so it wasn't a heart flower, obviously. I should have separated the ends in order to make it a heart flower. But I really like how that turned out anyways. It's kind of like a flower burst. So I'm not upset with how it turned out. 
but it wasn't what I was going for. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I will probably make one more. And I think I'm going to do red and pink. But that one I'm actually going to put... Um, I'm going to put something in between the petals. So I'll show you that one. We'll probably make that for Sunday. So I hope you guys liked it. And we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.